Welcome back, Panther Springs friends. And if you are new here, welcome. Woohoo! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. We are so glad that somehow, some way, out there in the vast interweb, the Lord directed you to Panther Springs United Methodist Church, and maybe He has a word just for you today. I'd like to continue our back to school theme as we look today at what could happen if you take a mouse to school by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. I love this series of books, boys and girls. I love how one thing leads to another and one crazy circumstance causes something else. And I, I've used these books at school before to talk about cause and effect, but I, again, I love these, how one thing leads to another. And that's just like in life, how one thing can lead to another. And then at the end, it all starts all over again, like the circle of life. Little Disney moment there for you. All right, if you take a mouse to school, my sister did approve of that. Let's see what can happen. If you take a mouse to school, he'll ask you for your lunchbox. When you give him your lunchbox, he'll want a sandwich. What's your favorite sandwich, boys and girls? Let us know over on Instagram. And a snack for later. Then he'll need a notebook and some pencils. He'll probably want to share your backpack too. When you get to school, he'll put his things in your locker and take a look around. He might do a little math and spell a word or two. He'll even try a science experiment. Hang on, boys and girls, because I'm hoping we can try a little science experiment here at the end. Then you know what's going to happen after you do a science experiment. He'll need to wash up. So you'll have to take him to the bathroom. And once he's nice and clean, he'll be ready for his lunch. On the way to the bathroom, you'll see some building blocks. So he'll build a little mouse house. I'm a poet, didn't know it. And make some furniture out of clay. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. He'll start by writing one of his own, of course. So he'll need a lot of paper. He'll probably use up all of your pencils. And when he's finished, he'll want to read his book to you. Then he'll want to take it home. So he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe place. I don't know if you can see boys and girls, but the lunchbox is tucked away on the bookshelf. When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. While he's waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer. He might ask you to shoot a few baskets. My sister would probably shoot some baskets with mouse. He could take him and do a little skateboarding. What about skateboarding, assistant? You game? I'll pass. Assistant says no skateboarding. In case you didn't hear, boys and girls. When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat his snack. So he'll ask you for your, oh no, your lunchbox. Remember we left it on the bookshelf. He tucked it in the safe place. Your mom and dad do that? Tuck things in the safe place and don't remember where the safe place is? And chances are, if he asks you for your lunchbox, you will have to take him back to school. And we all know what happens. If you take a mouse to school, it's going to start all over again. Right, boys and girls? Well, I want you to think what happens if you ask Jesus into your heart, if you ask Jesus into your heart, hmm, then all of your problems magically disappear. You lead a glorious, fabulous, worry, stress-free life. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Bye. I wish it worked that way, boys and girls, but it doesn't. But I do believe that when you ask Jesus into your heart, you are immediately filled with the Holy Spirit. We've talked about that before. Now, remember we said we were going to do a science experiment? I thought it would be fun. 
to check out what would happen when you ask Jesus into your heart by looking at this magnet. So when you ask Jesus into your heart, you are filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives you that power, just like this magnet has power, right? This magnet has power to attract or draw things to it. So let's see. Let's see what this magnet can draw or attract. The first thing I want to take a look at is this pen. Let's see. Does the magnet attract or pick up the pen? Eh, not so much. So let's try something else. How about this hair barrette? What do you think? You think the magnet will attract the hair barrette? On the count of three, one, two, three. Woo, there we go. So we have attracted the hair barrette. Okay, so I want you to think of when you ask Jesus into your heart, the Holy Spirit fills you with power. You are attracted to Love, love, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So the Holy Spirit attracts love. Love is in your heart when you ask Jesus into your heart. All right, that was pretty small, but this is pretty good size magnet. You think we can try a bigger one? All right, here we go. We'd like to see it. Here it go. Let's try this spoon. Can you see it, boys and girls? All right, let's see. On the count of three, one, two, 25. It did it. It attracted the spoon. So if we have love, I want you to think of the spoon as joy. May the God of hope fill you with joy as you trust in him. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you are given joy. All right, there's we're getting a little bigger. Let's see. Let's try the big serving spoon. We have love. We have joy. Let's see. And there we go, boys and girls. Now we have peace. Peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. My peace I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not let your hearts be afraid. Believe in Jesus. Believe also in me. Amen. Hallelujah. We are filled with love. We are filled with joy. We are given peace. All right, boys and girls. And one more, one more. Let's see, boys and girls. Is our magnet, is our Holy Spirit strong enough for one more, one more, one more? The big daddy, the mad daddy. Here we go. We now have hope. And those who hope in the Lord are not disappointed hope does not disappoint Romans 5 5 because the love of God has been poured out into your hearts by the Holy Spirit so when you ask Jesus into your heart you are given these things peace hope joy and love and all God's people said amen hallelujah praise the Lord and pass the birthday cake boys and girls happy birthday to Miss D I'm getting ready to go eat this birthday cake all right remember if you take a mouse to school let me show you my birthday shirt all right if you give a mouse a cookie you should have one too if you give a mouse some birthday cake you should have one too. Don't mind if I do. See you next time, boys and girls. Remember, God loves you. So does Tampa Springs United Methodist Church. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. <laughs>